welcome to St Andrew's Links. My name's Steve North, I'm the Director of Instruction here at the Home of Golf. Now unmistakably, we're standing on the first fairway of the old course. Now the old course is revered around the world for being the first place golf existed some 600 years ago. Now over the years, it has hosted the Open Championship, the Ladies British Open, as well as many other prestigious events. Now whether you're looking to come to the Home of Golf or just an avid viewer of the Open Championship, we'd like to give you an insight into this famous Lynx. The first hole is called Burn after the famous Swilcombe Burn that runs directly across in front of the green. Now the total length of that burn is only six miles, but it's the final 200 yards out into the St Andrews Bay that make it so famous. Now the first hole shares its fairway with the 18th, making it one of the widest fairways in world golf. But with nerves jangling and out of bounds either side of that fairway, it's not to be mistaken for an easy opening shot. Now who can forget former Open champion Ian Baker Finch hitting the ball left out of bounds back in 1995 in those blustery conditions. Now to play the hole successfully, the line for the tee is the widest part of the fairway. Now many people will need to use a driver, but for some of the longer hitters out there, you'll be okay with a long iron. Now both of those approaches should leave a medium to short iron into the green. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add my routine in because the routine is a clearly fundamental part of hitting a successful shot and it helps with those nerves. So what I would do here is I would walk into the shot and try and visualize exactly how I wanna hit that ball. So I'm aiming at the wide part of the fairway here. I've got my three iron. I'm now gonna walk in and just have a couple of practice swings to feel the weight of my club and again, visualize that ball flying down the fairway. So again, focus on your routine. Don't be thinking about anything else outside or where you're actually stood. Just focus on executing a smooth swing and a good strike. So a great shot down the middle of the fairway there. I'd be absolutely delighted with that. And of course, it's gonna leave that medium to short iron into the green. Now again, the routine is a fundamental part of the game and if you're gonna enjoy your experience here at the home of golf, I would definitely add that into your game. So I'm really pleased with that three iron. You can see it's in the big wide part of this fairway. I'm not messing with the out of bounds on either side. Now, as I mentioned on the tee, you can see the Swilcom Burn is snaking its way through this hole before it goes out into the Bay of St Andrews. Now, while I was on the tee, I had a look at the pin sheet and I could see that I've got a sucker pin on this hole. The pin is tucked just behind that swill can burn. So I'm gonna check my yardage with my range finder. We've got 132 yards to the pin. Now I'm gonna play it slightly longer than that. I'm gonna play it as 140 yards, just in case I don't quite catch the shot. That ensures that I'll carry over the, the burn and onto the green. So I'm gonna take a nine iron have a couple of practice swings here and try and visualize exactly what I need. And then focus on a good contact. So I can take dead aim at this pin. Now a good contact. It's a little bit left of the flag there, but nicely over the burn. I'm on the green in two, which I'm gonna be delighted with on this first hole. 